क्रिकेट इज माई पैशन एंड आई कैनॉट अवॉइड इट Assalamu alaikum good evening namaskar to all our viewers on cricket unplugged today we have a very special guest from bangladesh he is a swash fast spin left handed opening batsman he has been currently appointed as the odi captain of his national team he showed his intent with a magnificent unbeaten 51 against india in the world cup in 2007 let us all welcome tamim iqbal assalamu alaikum tamim sal ko manish bhai how are you I'm good fine thank you how about you I'm all right uh, uh, the situation is not great as you know uh, in Bangladesh so uh, we are in complete lockdown like myself the country is, has opened a bit because you know uh, a lot of poor people if we go in a complete lockdown in our country it will be really difficult because there will be a lot uh, more uh, less cases uh, people will get affected through corona and more through hunger you know so you know how it is in india bangladesh all the uh, asian countries so uh, we're trying our best but it's uh, testing times at the moment i i i totally agree it is testing times for countries like asia where you know as you said hunger is the main problem then the corona yeah but yeah yeah it yeah, is yeah. like you i've seen have been helping a lot uh, on rather off the field you know on the field you all show it with your cricket but off the field by your good uh, help to the poor people that's very very good tamim no thank you anish we are trying to do our bit you know uh, alhamdulillah god has given us so much uh, it's our responsibility to give back uh, to our country uh, uh, country event so we are trying to do our bit not only us uh, there's uh, uh, like the common people everybody is trying to share their food everybody is doing their bit so uh, which shows like uh, the amount of love that we like to share in subcontinent uh, it's very hard to get this uh, outside subcontinent sometimes very true very true then in by we'll first talk about your odi entry i just mentioned in the introduction that after just playing two odis you were uh, selected for the world cup in 2007 and that special knock against india which you know, beat india comprehensively in that match can you tell our viewers about the 2007 match for you yeah it is it was a it was probably the biggest it was like the biggest match i was ever going to play uh, uh i remember uh, we were in trinidad and uh, we were staying in the same hotel like us and in india uh in the breakfast area i was i was just came out, i i was just going to the breakfast uh, on the game day so uh, uh i was in the corridor it was a long corridor where you have to walk uh, like 7 8 minutes to go to the breakfast area and uh, uh luckily i was walking with uh, the great sachin tendulkar uh so going to play against india and then walking into breakfast with sachin tendulkar was like uh, a dream come true uh he he was holding two bats uh so i i quietly asked him can i see one of those and then he gave it to me i i saw it was quite heavy and like i was so so polite you know so that experience it's always in my memory that uh, that walk to the breakfast area and then uh, then uh, you know the game started uh, i have told this uh, in the recent interviews as well and it's why that uh, i was actually not focusing on on the game because i was i was too happy and uh, and i really wanted to see uh, i was i was i was really happy that i'm playing uh, against sachin tendulkar saurav ganguly rahul dravid yuvraj singh with all those guys you know these these are the guys which uh, i grew up watching uh, in telly and i was actually uh, playing in the same field with them so i remember we we uh, india won the toss and uh, they elected to bat first and um, i was feeling somewhere around square leg and all when sachin tendulkar was batting it was just unreal for me so i was concentrating on that i don't uh uh so i was not totally on the game honestly so but uh, uh fortunately the wicket helped our bowler a bit and we did uh, uh we did manage to uh, uh bring them down in a in a decent total which was 190 something and after that we knew that uh, we had a chance uh i went to bat uh, facing zahir khan uh, again very nervous uh, because he he has done s- uh, so much for indian cricket and and he has, he was a uh, as a world superstar you know uh, so facing him wasn't uh, wasn't fun uh, uh, 
So when he, he used to bowl 140s those times because when he came in, he used, he used to be really qu quick. Probably at the end of his career, he slowed down a bit, but uh, uh, at those times, I think he was pretty sharp. So I was worried, uh, will I be able to see 140 clicks uh, delivery? So I was worried about all those things. So he bowled me first uh, on a length first ball. I defended. I thought, no, it's it's okay. Uh, luckily, in the next ball, I got a half volley that went for four. And then just I uh, trusted my instincts. I just kept on swinging. And uh, Alhamdulillah, it kept on connecting for a while. So uh, it was a it was a great, great match. You, you, you can ask anyone in Bangladesh, uh, the best ever win. They probably will say that 2007 World Cup against India. People talk about your straight six of Zahir Khan. I'm sure you will remember that shot. Uh, yes, yes, I remember that shot. That uh, see, Anish Bhai, I've hit a lot of more sixes. I think I've hit close to 100 sixes. But people still keep on reminding me about that particular six. Uh, you you can understand what's the value and what's uh, how much the our country values win against India because India is such a big country and such a big cricketing nation. Uh, the best probably uh, at the moment is the best cricket team in all formats. So beating them was like, it was a big, big thing for us. Yes, uh, very true. And in fact, I remember you also won against South Africa in that World Cup. Yeah, South Africa was actually ranking number one at that time. So that was also uh, was a great win. Um, uh, but the firstly, to qualify for the Super 8 was a huge achievement, I think, for Bangladesh because um, you have to beat either Sri Lanka or India uh, and then win uh, against Bermuda to somehow give yourself a chance to qualify. So we managed to do that and then uh, uh, beating South Africa was uh, another great, uh, great victory for us because uh, currently that, that time they were number one. And then uh, the way we played the cricket, I remember I got few runs. Ashraful played a uh, magnificent. Uh, he played an unbelievable innings, and then uh, everybody chipped in, and uh, it was a great win for us. I think the 2007 campaign was a great campaign for us. And then when you guys were the host in the 2011 World Cup, your first match was incidentally again against India, where uh, yeah. India had to prove a point, and even though. Uh, India put up a big total. Uh, Bangladesh showed good fight in that game. Yeah, yeah but uh, uh, I remember um, Sachin, Sachin Tendulkar got out a bit cheaply. He got he was run out. So we thought that okay, yeah, there's a chance. And then Sehwag took over. You know, he scored 175 masters all over the ground. Um, I think they 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 scored close to 330, 340 something like that. Uh, and then uh, we went to bat. We also scored some, I think, 270, 280, I reckon, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, wasn't a great match, I'll say. Uh, but uh, at, there was a time when myself and Sakib was batting. Uh, uh, we were thinking that uh, if, we, if both of us can bat till the end, then we will have a chance. But, uh, you know, in 2011, chasing 330, uh, uh, was very, very difficult. Very, very difficult. Like now, chasing 320, 330, you know that if you were a good start, you have a chance. But in 2011, 330 means half the, dog, half the job has been done. Uh, in the same World Cup, I remember when you were chasing against England, uh, the middle order uh, and the lower order pulled off victory. You remember that win? Yeah, I think... Anish Bhai, yeah, 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 Anish Bhai, I think we had a good opening partnership and the middle order, uh, uh, and then I think uh, we were going really well and the middle order actually collapsed. collapsed. And the low, uh, yeah, and the lower order actually uh, did the job for us. I remember that game. Uh, uh, we had a, uh, I think we uh, bowled them out in a decent total, I think 250 or something or maybe two, or less than 250. Uh, and then we went to bat. We had a great start, uh, uh, myself and Imrul, uh, a good partnership. And then uh, we had a collapse in the middle. And then I remember Chitogong, it was in Chitogong, uh, my hometown. Uh, the, ch the stadium was like packed, full, uh, full on, like 25, 30,000 people. So everything. So as soon as the middle order collapsed and it was looking uh, that we we're going to lose, more than 75% people left the stadium. 
and then uh, the shafiul and uh, the mamudullah innings uh, brought us back in the game and then eventually we uh, won that game uh, actually uh, there was 20 to 25% people who was actually witnessed that game because all the 70 75% people left so, and they got to know in the middle when they were going home uh, that we won so they all stood in the street so it, it took us all it normally from chitong stadium to the hotel is around 30 minutes drive it took us almost four and a half hours to go to the hotel because it was full packed everybody was on the street and everybody was cheering so it was a great great win and especially winning against england at home in a world cup uh, was a great achievement absolutely and since you have mentioned about the passion of bangladesh you know i see many countries having passion whether it is india pakistan but bangladesh is one country where everybody follows it's not only the men the old uh, people uh, the young children but the women they have excellent knowledge about cricket tell us something about it and it's by everybody is an expert in bangladesh everybody knows cricket uh, like uh, 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 from 7 years old to 65 year old uh, women uh, you name it everybody loves cricket uh, i think uh, this is one uh, thing that unite us as a country this is one of the thing i won't say this is the one thing this is one of the thing that unites us as a country uh, whether we going through a tough time or are we uh, or we are happy this is one sport that everybody watches together uh, with the, with the family everybody has their opinion sometimes it becomes very difficult for us because you get criticized very easily if you don't do well and um, i always rate our supporters as a very emotional supporters they're very very emotional uh, they emotional about victories they emotional about uh, when we lose uh, they were very emotional when when i uh, when our players get a 100 and they get very angry when we don't score runs so i think honestly we are very very lucky as cricketers we are very very lucky to have a fan base like this it's not only in bangladesh if you um, i remember we were playing um, 2017 champions trophy against england which was the first game in oval the oval was looking more like mirpur than oval because we had more supporters far more supporters than england i think if i have to if i have to give you a percentage i think 70% was bangladeshi and 30% were in england uh, playing in England, so all over the world, we uh, not quite as India because India has a huge population, so they get the most support. But uh, I think Bangladesh is another country that gets supports everywhere, uh, and I think we are very lucky. You are absolutely right uh, that uh, Bangladesh gets a lot of support, not only in Bangladesh but also in abroad. And you mentioned about that Champions Trophy match against England; you scored a hundred. I'm not wrong. Yes, I did. I did. <laughs> I did. Yes. Yeah, but unfortunately we lost Anish Bhai. Uh, uh, but it was a it was a great. Uh, I think it was a uh, very good memory I have about that game. Uh, playing in a Champions Trophy uh, first game, getting a hundred was a special thing. We we managed to score uh, three hundred plus, and then uh, they actually batted exceptionally well. We they didn't give gave us any chance. Uh, so yeah, uh, it was a, actually we we went to f play the semi final in that. Yes. Moment. I remember uh, beating, yeah, beating uh, New Zealand was a great, uh, great, great achievement. Then. Yes. Yes. So before that, uh, the 2015 was the year where Bangladesh cricket changed for very good. Where you all beat India, you all beat Pakistan, you all beat South Africa, you all even made it to the quarterfinals of the World Cup. Tell us something about that special year. I think uh, it all started. Uh, uh, from the World Cup, from 2015 World Cup, uh, where uh, where not not many people believed uh, uh, we will be able to play the quarterfinals or we will do well as a team, because it was in it was in Australia and then we don't tour Australia quite often. In my 13 years of career, uh, I've all I've I've toured Australia twice. One for three ODIs against them, which was in 2008, and then the World Cup. In, in, in this, I have never toured Australia. So you understand that uh, playing in Australia, you need experience because it's a different kind of wicket, pace and bounce. So I don't think a lot of people thought that we will be able to qualify for the uh, quarterfinal, but uh, our captain had a big role, I'll say, 
because he kept on believing and kept on passing the message to us that we will do well, we will do well. And, and um, eventually that positiveness uh, uh, got into everyone in the team. That he was so confident he, he wanted to win, he wanted to play the quarterfinals, at least the quarterfinals. And uh, so I think he played a big role. Uh, and again, uh, uh, there also we, uh, we managed to beat England. Uh, in a, we didn't we didn't score. Uh, I think we played in uh, Adelaide as a. It was a great, great, very close game. Uh, I remember, and uh, uh, Mahmudula got a hundred. Mushfiq played a very good innings, and then Rubel uh, was probably uh, the man of the match for for me because he he was the one took uh, very crucial wickets. Yeah, uh, Ian Morgan was one of them. Ian Bell was one of them, and then the last two wickets was uh, amazing. I think. Uh, that was a great win uh, for the team because we, that win gave us the belief that okay uh, we can big we can beat big teams not only not only at home but uh, abroad as well and uh, our coach that time was Hathura Singh and his uh, his message was very clear we have to win 80% of the games at home uh, especially ODIs we have to win 80% games at home so that was his message and that was his plan. Um, and then after the World Cup, the confidence was really high and Israel, and then uh, India came with the full squad and we managed to beat them. It was another uh, booster to our confidence. Uh, no, actually, before India, Pakistan, Pakistan. Came. Uh, Pakistan came. So Pakistan came and then we managed to uh, beat them. Uh, actually, I think 3-0. Yeah, uh, we beat them 3-0. Yeah, 3-0. And then uh, that was uh, like a big uh, confidence booster. Uh, and then India, India came, we managed to beat them and then South, South Africa came. So three series, big teams in a row, we managed to beat them and that, that was a big confidence booster for us. You know, So we understood that, okay, at home, uh, we have to make ourselves uh, like this, that we are very difficult to beat. So I think we have managed to do that now. Well, that uh, paved the way for Bangladesh and we also saw glimpses of Bangladesh uh, doing very well in the 2019 World Cup also, where you managed to beat a couple of good sides and even came close to beating India. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I think uh, uh, the, it was, I'll say we are still as a cricketer, we are a bit disappointed with the result in 2019. Yes, uh, we, uh, we played some close games, we managed to beat uh, South Africa, we managed to beat uh, West Indies. We played a really close game against New Zealand. And then uh, there was a close game against India as well. But I thought we could have done better. I thought uh, uh, we could have done better, especially uh, the game against New Zealand, the game against India, probably the game against Pakistan. These are the games I think we should have done better. I think we were prepared, uh, uh, unfortunately. Uh, myself uh, and the uh, and our captain didn't have the greatest of the World Cup. I think uh, the the World Cup that Shakib had was phenomenal. He scored a lot of runs. I think if if I could have helped him with my performance, if uh, our captain Mashrafi could have helped him with his performance, we definitely could have gone to the second round, which was the semi final. I think ten um, percent here and there that India game, that uh, that New Zealand game. Uh, you know, uh, those two games, uh, if the results was a bit different, you could have seen us in a semi-final. So, uh, as I think if you ask any players in Bangladesh or any supporters or any journalists, we'll still say it was a failure for us because we thought that we are a better team What we got, uh, where we got to. I understand what you mean and it's, you were very modest in saying that. Uh, now that you were mentioning about your captain Mashrafi, you know, to replace Mashrafe as the ODI captain, it's like replacing or getting into big shoes. He's an icon in Bangladesh. Tell us something about Mashrafe. What made him such a successful ODI captain? I think uh, uh, his belief, I reckon. His belief uh, that he wants to take this team forward. And then uh, definitely the other, uh, all the other players uh, contributed. Uh, other players performed under him. That also helped him as a captain. But I think uh, uh, the belief he had uh, was the key. I think uh, whatever you do, Anis Bhai, if you don't have the belief, you won't be able to achieve. You probably have the best bowling attack in the world. You probably have the best batting attack in the world. But if you don't believe, you, you don't have anything. 
but if you don't have the best bowling attack, you don't have the best batting attack, but you have the belief, you can achieve a lot of things. So I think the belief was there. For, that was the biggest strength he had. And now you, I read one of your articles where you have mentioned that if you start beating big teams, you will automatically get confidence. Yes, Anish Bhai. Anish Bhai, this is, this is one thing that captaincy doesn't come naturally to me. Or, uh, this, is one, this is one thing that I've never dreamed of as a kid. I, there, you can ask a lot of cricketers. They will probably say that my dream is to become the captain of their country. But for me, I, I never dreamed like that. I never thought that I'll be a captain of my country. I want to be the captain of my country. I, I wanted to represent my country. That was my biggest dream. Um, the captaincy thing came... Uh, uh, this is an opportunity. Uh, I don't know how will I do, but uh, definitely I will have some plans and everything. Uh, and also in the in the process, I will make mistakes. I will do. I will make some right decision as well. I think will time will say on his way uh, uh, how I am as a captain. Uh, I'm not uh, this kind of individual who likes to give a lot of promises before doing anything. Uh, let's see how my journey starts as a captain. And uh, as I said, I'm a. a, a uh, I don't have much experience. I'll try to get ex uh, experience from all over uh, my team. Uh, try to get information from senior players, even the junior players, and uh, and see where how I start. You know, uh, as, just as I said that uh, I'll make mistakes. I'll I'll learn from it, and I hope uh, uh, I can fulfill my responsibility as a captain. I'm quite sure, uh, Tamim. Now we talk about your Test journey in your debut against New Zealand. Uh, you scored 70 runs in the first test match of yours. How was that experience? Yeah, I think, yeah, I, I, I think I, I got uh, 50 in my first innings and 74 in the second innings. It was, it was great. I, and I remember uh, 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 the coach at that time was uh, Jamie Seedens. Uh, I rate him uh, the best batting coach ever I've worked with. Uh, he he was phenomenal. I, I I still if I if I go through any difficulties in my uh, batting, I always uh, ring him. So, but uh, with me and him, our journey didn't start it pretty well. I think uh, he didn't like me when he first saw me. So I was not actually uh, uh, I was there were three openers in that tour, and I was uh, I was already told that I'm not going to play. Uh, the ODI series because we went for the ODI series first and I knew that I'm not going to play the three ODIs. Uh, so before that ODI, we had a practice game and uh, 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 unfortunately, but fortunately for me, mm. our one of the uh, openers got sick mm. and I had to play that game. I was not playing that practice game also. So I scored 100 uh, and I scored 100 and uh, uh, against a good... Uh, quality team and they had to play me in the first ODI. You know, you scored 100, how can you drop a guy uh, and in the first ODI? So, I played the first ODI, I scored another 50-60 and then I had a good ODI series. So, uh, and then they picked me for the test matches. Uh, playing test matches, Anish Bhai, you know, as a cricketing uh, fan uh, is the biggest thing. Uh, no other format come close to test matches. So, for me, it was a, it was it was big. And then playing in New Zealand was a, another great challenge for me. And then, alhamdulillah, it went well. Uh, so, it was a, it was a good uh, test match. I remember uh, at that time, me and Junaid Sipiki in the second innings were had to bat 40 overs to, uh, to close the day. Uh, and we managed to bat those things. So, we were learning as a test team. I think we still, we still are learning. And we had a great opening partnership in the second innings of 140 plus. So it was a good test match, but the uh, result wasn't great. Uh, we lost probably in three or four days, but there were patches of things that we enjoyed. Well, uh, playing in England is one thing and scoring in 100 at Lords. You are one of the few players who have scored 100 at Lords. I'm sure it must be special. Yes, uh, oh, very special, Anis Bhai. Uh, Anis Bhai uh, is... I, I was very close to my father. Uh, I've always said this in my uh, different different interviews that the the biggest reason I play cricket is to uh, fulfill my father's dream uh, uh, because he wanted me to play cricket. He wanted me he wanted uh, me to uh, play cricket and wanted me to represent uh, Bangladesh. 
but unfortunately is not with us anymore he passed away in 2001 uh, and uh, uh, i remember uh, as a kid used to tell me about lots uh, uh, he used to tell me it's, it's been called the makkah of uh, cricket uh, it has a great history uh, and all and all i remember uh, anis bhai that uh, uh, i broke my uh, wrist there's a there's a there's a bone on my wrist which was broken and i was actually not supposed to play that test series uh, i just saw a doctor uh, we, uh, two days before the test match start and the doctor said i probably need an operation but uh, being in lords uh, i spoke to jamie and the captain that time he said we probably won't get an opportunity to play at lords in the next 10 years uh, see from 2010 till 2020 we haven't played in lords uh, so i took that chance uh, i used to take five six pain killers a day uh, was when i was playing and uh, after i think first innings i scored 50 odds or something 53 or 54 i got run out yeah and then uh, and then i came back to the dressing room there's a there's a guy who still works his name is peter peat um, uh, who 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 writes the name on the board so i asked him uh, peat can you make a 50 board for me i will pay for it just keep it on the side write my name because i scored a 50 then he said no no you'll get a 100 uh, but uh, god was really kind and is why uh, uh, fortunately i got a 100 in the next game uh, second innings was special very very special um, and then uh, whenever i've been to lords the first thing i see is my name on the board so was which was very special and i i totally agree with tamim uh, but after 68 test matches nine test match hundreds as an opener you feel uh, tamim has done well as a test player i once uh, uh, anish bhai i think the amount of hundreds i've missed in in test matches there is lot of uh, 90s 80s i think my hundreds could have been somewhere around 15 16 then i could have to i could have told you that yes i've done okay till now but also i've done okay uh, because uh, 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 the wickets we play in bangladesh are not easy to bat on it's very very difficult uh, especially uh, especially the spinning tracks we play and then uh, and normally when you used to play used to be really slow and low wicket so it's it's not fun being as a batsman because you like some pace on the ball and all and all but uh, i think we, i could have definitely done better anish bhai uh, 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 there is no excuse for that uh, but you know i still have five six years in left in me uh, they, uh, if i if i have better 5 6 years what i have done uh, probably end of my career i'll be more satisfied you see tamim you remind me of david warner as a left handed batsman or a virendra sehwag as a right handed batsman because in test match cricket you guys are having the aggressive approach and you can take the game away from the opposition and every opposite team fears that if this guy gets going he can take the match away from us do you believe that uh it's a it's a good thing to know uh, anish bhai thank you uh, but uh, the do uh, the guy you mentioned uh, um, varendra sawag he was something else anish bhai for me i've never seen a batsman dominated so much in international cricket uh, like varendra sawag uh, i think uh, i don't want to compare myself to him i think he was a much 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 better batsman but it was nice that at least you mentioned his name with my name Uh, but i think uh, uh, i try to do my best and is my i try to do my best i try to perform for the team uh, sometimes it happens sometimes it doesn't uh, but uh, is by that uh, just we i said that uh, if i have a good 5 6 years from now uh, and if i get get another uh, uh, another 8 9 centuries before i end my career uh, then i'll be happy all right now yeah, yeah, yeah. before i go uh, further Uh, to the T20s, I want to ask about Test matches. You see, we have seen Bangladesh uh, doing well in the first three days of a Test match. It's in the second innings probably Bangladesh uh, collapsed under pressure or they lacked the temperament. What do you think is Bangladesh making that mistake where they do well and they end up on the losing side? Uh, Anishma, I think this is one format which I don't, uh, I, I don't think that we have done. really well and or we should have done better because we have been playing for almost 7 8 10 years um, the the other thing is anish bhai i think uh, 
we have started to do well in test matches in Bangladesh, uh, where we prepare a, uh, a spinning track and then we challenge and we manage to beat uh, big teams like England and Australia. But overseas is a problem. Still, it's a problem. I think uh, uh, the main issue, I think we need to play more test matches. We, we need to play more because you will see still that uh, we'll play a test match, two test match, and then the next test match will be after five, six months. That doesn't help. Uh, this has been this has been the career. If you if you see, uh, uh, Alistair Cook has almost played what more than 110, 120 Test matches. Mushfiqur Rahim debuted before Alistair Cook. He oh, he oh. has played 60. Te- yeah, he has played 60 Test matches where Alistair Cook has finished his career with 120 Test matches. You understand that the gap we have. Uh, uh, but uh, by saying that, Anish Bhai. Uh, uh, as I said, that we should have improved more, uh, like what we have done in ODIs, a little bit on T20. But in test matches, I think uh, uh, this is one format that I, I believe we can uh, learn and have to improve more. We have a very young captain now uh, who is very motivated. He, uh, uh, and he wants to take this team uh, forward. And he wants to make Bangladesh as a better test team. I think this is very important. Your leader wants to play test matches. Your, your leader wants to take the test team forward. is very important. You can see what uh, Virat Kohli is doing with India. Uh, who imagined uh, like six years ago from now, uh, India will have the best fast bowling unit in test matches. Nobody imagined. India always had great spinners. India always had good fast bowlers, uh, but not as a unit. Like not five, six, seven altogether. But now see... See what uh, India is now with uh, all the fast bowlers they have, spinners they have. So I think uh, you need a leader like that. I think our leader, uh, he's young, Mominul, but he can be someone that uh, can take this team forward. You rightly mentioned that I mean, exposure is very important. And as you said, that Cook has played more test matches than Bangladesh. So the more exposure yes. you get, you improve your temperament and get better in the longest format. Yes, and it's by yes. Uh, let's now come to T20, Tamim. Uh, I think last to last year, you guys uh, won your franchise ticket under your captainship. Tell us about that experience. Yeah, uh, yes, BPL Anish Bhai is uh, is fun. Uh, Pakistan, uh, the PSL is doing wonders for Pakistan, I believe. So I think uh, with the BPL, it definitely helping because you're playing the best players in the world in the same team or or as an opposition. All the young players are learning, facing them, balling to them. So, you, you know uh, at least how to deal with them, you know, when you come to the national team arena. Uh, uh, it's a great tournament with a lot of emotions. Uh, all the owners are very, very emotional. Uh, they don't want to lose to each other. They somehow, you know, Bangladesh is a small country. Uh, they somehow know each other very well. Uh, uh, most of them are friends. Uh, so, uh, when it comes to cricket, uh, as you know, Anis Bhai, uh, you have a lot of friends in other franchises too. You don't want to lose to your friends. So, uh, so similar kind of stuff, Anis Bhai. Well, I, I totally agree. Uh, but how do you feel is Bangladesh journey in the T20 format? They have come close many a times. Uh, and T20 is such an unpredictable format that it can change in, in one over. Yes, Anish Bhai. Uh, I think uh, we have done well in patches. I won't say we have we have been consistent now, but we have done in patches. If you see the India series, we uh, went we won the first game. We should have won the third game as well, but uh, that nerve uh, that nerve uh, kill us sometimes, you know. So I think we have done well as a patches. I think this is one format uh, we can definitely improve on. Uh, we have uh, we have the players, uh, we have the ballers. Uh, but as a team, uh, we have to make the right decision at the right time. Uh, especially uh, if you see the silly, silly mistakes we have done, the India game in the World Cup 2016, or, or there are a lot of other games as well. I think uh, uh, with experience, I think we have to learn not to uh, make the same mistakes again. If we are keep on making the same mistakes, that means we are not learning. And I think uh, if uh, I'm sure if uh, Mushfiq and Mahmudullah is batting next time in a similar situation when they were batting against India, I'm pretty sure they will react differently this time. Uh, but this is one format, Anish Bhai. I think uh, uh, 
uh, we should do a little better what we are doing now. We have to be a bit more consistent. Since we are talking about T20, uh, I believe you played uh, under MS Dhoni for Pune Warriors. No, uh, uh, Dhoni, MS Dhoni was at Chennai, no? All right. But uh, you yeah. played for... Da, da, I, I was with uh, Saurav Ganguly. He was okay. the captain. All right. Okay. Yeah, Saurav Ganguly, but uh, it, that, this was in 2012. Unfortunately, I didn't, I couldn't get an opportunity to play. But the experience that I had in that 40 days when I was unreal. Um, uh, hands down, it's the best I have franchise tournament in the world. There's a reason. Of, there's a reason it's the best tournament. Yeah, I'm sure and, uh, you will yeah, get more opportunity. Then, yeah, yeah. Then let's see. Let's see, Anish Bhai. Maybe when you own a team, then I'll get an opportunity. <laughs> you see, Tamima, since I was talking about Bangladesh coming close in many matches and probably failing to pass the hurdle. It's probably that one tournament uh, which Bangladesh needs to break that jinx. Like I remember the Asia Cup against Pakistan or the Asia Cup in uh, Dubai. The Pakistan, uh, Bangladesh was very close, but unfortunately they could not, you know, pass that hurdle. Very true, Anish Bhai. Uh, I think uh, if we win a big tournament, uh, or a tight game to uh, finish uh, to win the trophy, I think that will change a lot of things. You know, you that will take out the nerve. Uh, we still, um, especially in Asia Cup, if you see uh, the Dubai Asia Cup against India, the Asia Cup at back at home against India in the final, the Asia Cup uh, against Pakistan in the final again, we came really, really close, really, really close. I think. Uh, Probably at one stage we were ahead of the game against against the opposition, but you know we somehow uh, probably didn't have that nerve to control it. Uh, this is this is one thing that we somehow need to change. And uh, by uh, by saying that, we, if we can somehow win close games to win series, to win cups, only then we can change this. You know, uh, I hope uh, if we are in the similar situation again, uh, we will react better. You mentioned about the Asia Cup in Dubai. The first match against Sri Lanka, you played with a broken thumb or broken arm and made uh, yeah, broken win yeah. that game with a partnership with Mushfakir. Tell us about that. Uh, this way, this was uh, like, uh, unfortunately, I got injured very early. Uh, I had to rush back to the hospital. Uh, it was uh, my knuckle. It was actually my knuckle. It was completely broken, and uh, and then as soon as I came back, I think we were struggling, and Mushri was batting. Mushri was batting really well. We were, I think, two hundred and something for eight or something, and then Mashrafi started the thing again. He said he said that if uh, if Mushri is on strike, uh, just just go and stand. And if uh, if he can't take a single, and if you have you you come to strike, then you declare. You don't have to bet. Where my uh, where my physio said completely no. Said you cannot you cannot run with this because it's just broken, and if you run with it, it might displace more. And the plan was okay. If uh, if Mushfiq is on strike, then I'll go and stand with him and see if Mushfiq can hit a few more boundaries and take a single at the last ball. And even sorry, even I'm not allowed to run. He said whatever it is, if Mushfiq is on strike, then you can go. If you have to run, you cannot. So I got ready and I said, okay, I'll do it. And I got ready and all. Uh, and I think it was the last, second last ball where our ninth batsman got out. And I, you know, that five second or 10 second of madness that happens to everyone. It happens to me. It happens to you. It happens to anyone that you don't know what, what you're doing. And that happened to me in five days second. I was not supposed to go and back because Mushrik wasn't on strike. I just stood up and, kept on walking. I remember my coach Rain, uh, uh, came to me running, said, what are you doing? You're not supposed to back. I said, don't worry, I'll handle, I'll handle it. He said, it's on you then. I said, it's on me, don't worry. So I went there uh, and uh, fortunately, I somehow managed to play that one, deal, uh, one ball. And then, we, uh, then Mushrik was brilliant. He scored some 34, 35 runs. We had a partnership of 34, 35 runs. That made a huge difference from 230 to 260 is a huge difference. Uh, difference. And uh, Dubai, as you know, uh, it's not very easy sometimes to bat. 
uh, and we managed to win that game. So it was very special. Well, I was lucky enough to witness uh, your determination, and you became an overnight hero. Even though Bushpikir scored the runs, but you were the one who gave the support, and Bangladesh managed to put up that big total. Yes, yes, and it's well. The response I got uh, from everyone, from you as well, uh, you came to meet me. I remember uh, was very good. Thank you for that. And. Uh, Recently, uh, before this uh, pandemic started, Bangladesh won the Under-19 World Cup. They were always coming close, but they went on to win the Under-19 World Cup. And there were a lot of emotions running high. But what you could see that Bangladesh were determined and they wanted to beat a solid Indian team. And they managed to do that in that Under-19 World Cup final. Yeah, definitely. You know, uh, the, the, the aggressiveness they showed, uh, uh, was something to look forward. Uh, I'm not showing, I'm not telling what happened after the game or uh, uh, during the game what happened. I'm sure they all realize uh, in, as an international cricket, we are not allowed to do, do all those things. But aggressiveness, uh, the positiveness they showed during batting, during bowling was something really good. And then uh, uh, it also came very close where India was at one point looking they're uh, going to win. And then there will be another sad story for Bangladesh cricket like the senior team where we clo come very close and then somehow uh, make uh, somehow didn't do do not win but uh, these guys changed that thing you know uh, was really good so we have champions now at our in, in our country we can say that we are under 19 world cup champions so these these guys uh, now we are slowly slowly building the pedigree you know when these guys will come to represent bangladesh they know how to win big tournaments they know how to win big matches well, they have set the platform, Tamim, and I'm sure uh, with coming years under your captainship and under uh, your test captain too, Bangladesh will definitely win close games and uh, do wonders for their country. Uh, we've had a wonderful sure, conversation, sure. Tamim, with you. Now I'm going to ask you a quick five questions and let me see how you sure. can duck. All right, Tamim. Uh, Bangladesh yeah. is also following football. So your favorite footballer, Ronaldo or Messi? Ronaldo any any day, big time. Ronaldo fan. Very good. Uh, your uh, favorite city uh, for holiday: London, Paris, Dubai, or any other city? London. Sachin Tendulkar or Brian Lara? Sachin Tendulkar. Virat Kohli. Or Rohit Sharma, a better white ball player? Virat Kohli. One Bangladesh player you would like to bat with you uh, when chasing a stiff target. Uh, maybe to finish 10 overs and 100 runs and you are at the crease, you want with you along to finish the game. Mushrik Uh Your favorite Bollywood actor, Amir Khan, Salman Khan, or Salman Khan, big Salman Khan fan. Big Salman Khan fan. Uh, what's your favorite Bangladeshi food? Bangladeshi food, we call it pulao and chicken roast. Okay. All right, Tamim, it was great uh, having this conversation with you. And trust me, I, I really enjoyed every moment of what we have chatted. And uh, I'm sure, uh, you know, all your fans look forward that Bangladesh uh, will recover from this pandemic. Uh, and will be on the cricket field. And as you said, you know, they are emotional people and they love their cricketers and you guys will be able to bring happiness on their face. Inshallah, Anisbe, Inshallah. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. God Thank you, Anisbe.